Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how to set up HDR on your Windows 10 PC. So HDR stands for High Dynamic Range and basically it makes the colours much nicer on screen. So the blacks will be blacker, the colours will be more vibrant, if you were looking up at the sky the clouds would look better because there'd be more shades of white. Now to enable HDR you need a few things. The Windows 10 has to be running one of the latest versions of Windows 10 which is the Windows Creator Up updates. Also, your TV has to be HDR enabled. Normally, it's the 4K TV. So the newer TVs that are 4K and also HDR. And lastly, your GPU, your graphics card, has to be able to support HDR. So you can just check online whether your model does or not. In this video, I'm using an NVIDIA GTX 1070. Now, we have to set it up on Windows 10, we've got to set it up on the TV, and we've also got to set it up on the game. So first of all, I'm just going to show you the TV. This will vary depending on the TV you have. This is a Samsung TV, and this is a cheap 4K TV, so it only enables HDR on one of the HDMI inputs. So this has three HDMI inputs on it, but I can only get HDMI on input number one. So you need to double check your model. If this isn't working for you, double check that it's not just enabled on one of the HDMI ports. So to enable it, we have to go to settings, and we've got to go, we're on the picture settings here, and we're gonna go down to expert settings, and I'm gonna press enter. And Samsung call it, they don't call it HDR, they call it HDMI UHD Color. So I'm just going to enter into that one. And you can see on HDMI, I've got it turned on. By default, it will be off. So you need to move it from off to on. And as you can see on mine, I can't do it on number two or HDMI three. Okay, so that's the TV side of it done. Now we need to do it on the Windows 10 PC. Now before you do that, I just want to show you on the game how it's not recognizing HDR. So even though I've got it turned on on my TV, because I haven't got it turned on on Windows 10, it's not recognizing it. So if I go to video here, you can see up the top here, it just says basic, advanced, and calibration. When we change it over to HDR, it will say basic, advanced, and HDR. So let me exit out of this. Now you are gonna to have to exit out of it because if you just change it over and go back into the game, it still won't be there. You need to exit out of the game and then load the game up again. Now this is just Forza 7, the demo. Right, so now I'm gonna go down to the bottom left and I'm gonna to go to settings. So I'm tapping on the Windows icon there and I'm going to the second icon up that says settings. Looks like a gear. And if you have a look here, I'm gonna to go to system. And now on the system, I've got an option here for HDR and advanced color. At the moment, that is off, so I need to turn that to on. And now it's going to ask me if I want to keep these settings, which I do. So I'm going to keep the changes. So that's it. HDR is now enabled on the Windows 10 system. So now what we have to do is go back into Forza 7 again. And now we're going to enable it in Forza 7. So I'm just going to fast forward through this bit. Okay, so now if we go to options... And now if I go to video again, now have a look up here, it says HDR, so we've got that new menu now. So I'm just going to left click on that. And now it says here, HDR output, it's on, okay? If it did say off, you just need to change it to on. There we go, and now I need to enter that. It's going to ask me to keep the settings, so I'm going to enter again. And now, that is it, we now have HDR enabled. And what you'll find is, the colors will be much more vibrant. So for example, if I was to go to this one now, when you've got HDR, these blues are much more vivid than when the HDR is turned off. So if you've got the option to enable it, definitely do it because it really does make a big difference. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care, bye now.